My name is Bob Roby, R-O-B-E-Y, and I thank you for staying late, Joe. Yeah, Mr. Roby, thank you for coming again. Now, you did speak the last time. I just do want to remind I you and Mr. Friedrich, we're going to try to save 10 minutes per person, so thank you. I will not take 10 minutes, and I thank you. I would like to comment that it was very difficult to get Mr. Hoagland here. It is very difficult to get people to come here and bear their souls. It is very difficult to get the little people to realize that their legislators might indeed care. I am sorry. I have never been fined. I have served on my board, Sun City Summerlin. I know how much it costs to run an election. It costs about $3,000 for nine or for 8,000 homes. You figure that out. Yes, they talk about $16 million here as though $16 million was David Stone's giving to the associations. I doubt that very seriously. He collected $16 million and Mr. S and, and Mr. Um, Orenshaw, I believe, asked how much of that went to the associations. He immediately went into the cost of $14 per lean and, and he never answered the question um, I also know that I went down to Aliente I met with the new owners of a home I had put this in the record I don't know if it's an FB, SB 174 you know I'm getting confused guys you, you have a massive job I don't know how you can do it and what happened there was the lady left in December of 2008 and she was immediately fined from then on because her husband had died and she just picked up and left and went up to um, Florida. Two years later, they had another hearing on it and they fined her some more money and it ended up $6,000. And I showed this to the new owner and I said, Mr. New Owner, did you pay the $6,000? And he said, of course not. Where did you get that figure from? I said, I got it from the Internet. It was a lawsuit that was arbitrated by Mr. Affelberg. Now, that's six thousand dollars. He wasn't paid by the new owner. It wasn't paid by the association. And I'm going, who had to pay it? The only one who can figure it out is the house was purchased by FHA. And the new owner in Aliente got a veteran's loan on it. I'm very fortunate that he got to talk to me. Uh, it's very difficult to contact people who are being fined. They want to hide. Criminals do not walk around with the badge on and say, you know, I'm, I'm being fined. People don't sit there and say, oh, the cop got me yesterday and it cost me $500 because I got a DUI. This is the same thing that's happening to these HOAs people. And I respect you. I admire you. And I have served on my board. And I want you to know that I've done my civic duty. I sent you another one about conduct where I was in the military. And this, I've read now, where they want to put conduct into the law. Conduct into NRS 116? I, I, I have to stop. I'm sorry. Mr. Hoagland really tore me, tore me apart. Did, and I've seen older people, and I've tried to help them. And I thank you for your time. Mr. Roby, thank you very much for coming to testify. We appreciate everything you're doing mm -hmm. for HOAs. One question I have is, under this collection fee structure, Mr. Mudford's bill, it's been argued that HOAs you know, will not be able to even hire a collection agency. I mean, do you think maybe this is too... Too draconian, and we need. No, I, I, I per, per, personally, personally, I, I have been in collections. I worked my way through college being a bill collector. I that was many years ago, guys. I many many years ago. I am staying away from this particular thing. I know that Mr. Hoagland getting having to pay for the sub association and the master association is, is ridiculous. I'm looking I am here. I am standing here for the rights of people. The guy who said that his HOA was non gated but he could control the streets. That's that that scares me. I have a I'm handicapped and I have my car and I park on the street go into my friend's house, come out and it's towed. I'm going, what happened? Well, they say, well, you had to have 48 hours notice. Hey, wait a minute. My car got towed. 
We have too many instances of these things happening. When it comes to the cap on these financial instruments, although I did work in a bank, I am not going to get into the minutia of that. I know that the commission, when it met, was told by the attorney general representative on that commission that they should not be making the regulation at that time since it was in litigation and it was a policy of the attorney general that they do not write regulations when something is in litigation. That, to me, is all I need to know. I can tell you what I think of anything, but it matters not. When the Attorney General's representative says, do not, please, do not do this, and they do it anyway, I'm appalled. And I can send you the documentation on that. It's in the minutes of the Common Commission for Condos and Hotels in December of this year, of 2010. Sure, we'd appreciate that if you could send that to us. Thank you very much. Are there any questions for Mr. Roby? No questions. Will the next witness please testify?